Well, our San Diego Padres looking to win their third in a row in Cleveland Wednesday night. What do you say we head to progressive field? Corey Spangenberg picks up an error in the third inning. Uh, Francisco Lindor will turn that mistake into an RBI single just moments later. There it is. And the Cleveland Indians have the early lead. Watch this now. This is my favorite highlight. In the fifth, Jose Perella with the ball to the wall. Listen to the sound. This one is yeah, Mike uh, Bradley Zimmer will be feeling that one as he goes bump against the wall. Yes. Uh, Luis Torrance scores. Spangy makes up for his air when he goes after the low fastball, puts this game away in the seventh, his fifth of the year. Fan in the stands, E guy wearing the Indian shirt there. And then this, watch as Hunter Renfro comes up big in right field. Tribe with a minor rally going in the eighth, but watch as Hunter Renfro with his seventh assist leading all right fielders in the bigs. We go to the board. Pods win 6 2. They will go for the sweep on Thursday. Then there were 10. 10 San Diego Little League teams remain in the hunt to get the Little League World Series invite to Williamsport after these highlights. That number will drop to eight. What do you say we get things going? Looking to make the cut in District 33. Mission Trails take it on Lake Murray in a championship rematch. Game tied in the third. Mission Trails, Max Kiernan with a two-run home run down the left field line for the 3-1 lead. In order to track this ball, you have to break your back. Teammate Justin Stearns makes it back-to-back. -back. Jacks with a solo shot to right. Kevin Bear working the camera here. Stat of the game, Jacob Connolly throws a one-hitter while striking out 12. Your final score, Mission Trails. Five, Lake Murray won. I felt great. I was like, I don't think we should dogpile him because he's a little big and he might die. And it was just amazing. The coaching, it's great. Uh, we got lots of talent and everybody knows each other. They're all great friends. My District 31 now, Encinitas taking on Del Mar American in a championship rematch. Tim Gaughan working the camera here. Top of the fourth, Clark Kasperson clears center field for a two-run home run, giving Del Mar American a 6-1 lead. Bottom of six, Vaughn Peters with a home run over right. Closes the gap to two. Then it's Luke Bailey with a double. That will score two runs to tie this ball game at six. That brings up Casey Sharp with, well, it's not a Picasso, but it counts. It's a slop hit to the infield for the walk-off RBI, 7-6. They don't care how they look, they just care how they score. Encinitas now 6-1 and one advances the next step of the road to Williamsport, the second six tournament where they'll take on Mission Trails, the team you just saw. We were down all the way to the end and I was just praying at the last inning that we could get a rally going and my, my boy Logan, I knew he was gonna pull it out, <laughs> got that clutch double there. I didn't expect fastball so I just tried to slap it and it worked out. It feels pretty good. I've never won a banner before, and most of the teams in our league, they've done really well, so I was just hoping that I could live up to the expectations. All right, earlier in the evening, we had a blue chip conversation with Isaac Taylor Stewart in studio. His complete interview is on KOSI.com. Isaac explaining his decision to transfer from St. Augustine to Helix High. I have completely respect for Coach Sanchez and St. Augustine football and also my brotherhood at St. Augustine. Uh, I just felt like, you know, things happened and I just I had transferred to Helix High School. Finn, tell us about where you just came back from. I just came back from Eugene, Oregon, and then I was at the opening competing out there. And I did uh, 40 and then some 7-on-7 seven seven out there. You are a second degree black belt, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm a second degree black belt. Talk about, uh, first of all, can you beat the old man? Uh, nah, he still got that inner strength strong. He's, I don't know how, but he's, he's still strong. Sometimes, you know, he try to wrestle, he usually kind of gets me, but Give it a couple I'm years. a little quicker. Yeah, you'll catch him. Uh, what would it mean to, to you to finish your high school career on the podium on the USS Midway Tuesday, December 12th? Uh, it would mean a great, it would, it would mean a great honor for me. Like just knowing, like all the best athletes that won that trophy, like win it, and if I could win it, I was just like a great blessing right there. Knowing that, like I'm going now as like one of the top Senegal football players, like come out of here. Well, also following Mr. Stewart was Chris Ello. He dropped in studio. His conversation also on KUSI.com. Hello, Ello. He opined on everything, including the resignation of Mission Bay coach Willie Matson. Uh, without sounding like a dinosaur here or a throwback, have PC has political correctness in schools and amongst the administrators and just the curriculum 
are we softening our kids to their detriment? Mm. That's such a that's a, like a softball. You know what I mean? Yeah. Say you're just tossing me one to <laughs> knock out of the ballpark. <laughs> yeah, I mean kids are soft these days. I don't think there's much question. Every kid who plays little league gets a trophy. Um, kids. Uh, can't take any direction from mm -hmm. from coaches without asking their parents first. It's too bad. Now, they've made a couple improvements, at least on those so hot summer days and a 100-degree football practice. <laughs> no salt pills. The coaches have to <laughs> let them drink water. So we've made some improvements along the way, but we've we've gone soft in too many other for ways. For the record, if I had a kid, I'd <laughs> want him to play for Willie Matson and I'd have him play yeah. all day. All right, speaking of soft, are the Padres are being accused of being a soft baseball team. Opinion? Well, a little bit, yeah, they are being accused of it, rightly so. I mean, uh, I think that they should have retaliated against Anthony Rizzo a couple of weeks ago when he slid hard into home plate. I think they should have retaliated against the Dodgers last week when Dave Roberts pushed their manager. But baseball is now a softer sport, and going back to what we just talked about, we have a whole generation now of soft kids that are now professional athletes, and I think they all play the game softer. I mean, look at a Major League Baseball game before it starts. Opponents are practically out there hugging and kissing each other out on the field before the game ever gets underway. I can't stand that, but that's the way it is now. He's such a curmudgeon. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. <laughs> curriculum. Curri cur curriculum. Uh, but when we come back, the tour loses two top contenders while the All England Club breaks the bank. The All Sports Report will be right back. But first, here's Mike Milburn with your Little League Plays of the Week. We kick off this week with the defensive dazzler. Carmel Mountain Ranch's James Smith snagging the grounder, finishing the spin move, and getting the runner out at first base. It's a grab good enough to make James candidate number one for the All Sports Report Play of the Week. Delmar American's Nathan Lesher letting loose at the plate as he finishes his night with a hat trick of home runs to go along with five RBI. This offensive output good enough to make Nathan candidate number two for the All Sports Report Play of the Week. On the pitching mound, this American's Juan Verdusco is good from start to finish. His 12 strikeout complete game shutout helping Vista American to the District 70 title and at the same time making Juan candidate number three for the All Sports Report Play of the Week. Get out your tape measure on this long ball. East Lake's Trey Edwards launching a home run high and far as part of a three home run day. An effort good enough to make Trey candidate number four for the All Sports Report Play of the Week. The fate of these athletes is now in your hands. Vote for your favorite play on the KUSI Sports Facebook page, at KUSI Sports on Twitter, and at KUSI Sports on Instagram. We'll announce the winner Sunday night on the All Sports Report. 